we were really unimportant after all. Yeah, because that's kind of my peeve with the whole NRS community, is that no one really helps each other out. Not in the sense that you would expect them to. Like a lot of people, they'd like to hide dirt from one another, which makes sense. It's logical why they do that, you know, because it's like, you know, like if you ever go into a tournament, you don't want to expose like everything and then make your stuff like available. In my opinion, it shouldn't really matter because unless you're like a one trick and a one hit wonder, you can always just adapt and you can always switch things up against the opponent so that they're still forced to respect all the options that you have. Most people aren't like that though, most people are actual one hit wonders, most people are just one trick. So that's why I personally believe that they wouldn't actually share anything. Because they don't have the fundamentals, they don't have the skill to actually be good at the game. Unless they just hide everything. And they just take advantage of, you know, like not being knowledgeable, like the opponent not being knowledgeable. And then this retard with a horrible connection. Look at this! Oh my god! I can't even meter burn. I'm pretty sure this person is lag switching me because it never spikes as bad, like ever, like with anybody. This person's so pathetic, oh my god. two mash buttons, that's the problem. There's no reason not two mash buttons. I couldn't get my second forward three to come out because this person's connection is complete garbage. Thank god that nightmare is over. Yeah, and that's good for you, Tommy Tricks. Like, that's good that you do that, and it helps. But, th and that's kind of what my channel does too. It's like the characters that I use, I don't mind exposing my character. I don't mind sharing the tech because I feel, and I feel like I prove it enough in all the matches and the plays that I play. I'm showing you everything that you can do against my character, but I'm still going to win because I'm either the better player, I make the better reads, and that's ultimately what it always will boil down to. It's just leveling out the playing field so that there isn't any hidden tech, there is no, you know, like, there is no mystery to the matchup. It's like, okay, you know everything that I can do, I know everything that you can do, so now it ultimately boils down to who is the better player, you know, who, who plays the matchup better. And that's what it is. It's not like, oh, you know, like, I won because you didn't know anything of the setups that I was doing, you didn't know any of the frame data, you know, of the moves that I was throwing out. And then it will also hopefully shed light to the things that are actually pretty broke because there are no answers to them. This person's connection is not 90. Never seen a Starfire reversal. Uh, and it's probably going to be a requirement for people to have a good connection because I'm not going to run these matchups if people have bad connections. Like I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. 
And I don't want to put other people through that suffering also. I actually would have won that too, had they not lagged out. But you know, when you're complete trash, you need to lag switch. Yeah, that's also why I'm doing it Ace, because a lot of people, they don't seem to actually grasp the things that I complain about, like the reason why I lose, it's not because I'm getting outplayed half of the time, it's because those tools are actually legitimately pretty broke. And I literally have no answer for it, most characters have no answer for it. But casuals want to believe what they want to believe.
I don't know why he's able to just like avoid everything when he does that. <laughs> you lose after you help. But that's also why this is hopefully like gonna be become a thing, like to help that not happen. Right? It's like, hey, plus on block launcher. You know, that's totally balanced. You got outplayed because you ate that. Even though you can't interrupt it half of the time. It's like, oh, half screen jump in that you can't anti air. You got outplayed because you got hit by that jump in too by Catwoman. Oh, that 8 frame mid that reaches neutral, you know, footsy range. You got outplayed because, you know, you had to hold that. Yeah, I somewhat agree with that, Darcia. The only thing is, it's like, it's kind of like what I've seen before. It, unless you're one trick, there's no reason why you should lose to just like showing some tech. Like, I, I don't mind showing every single thing about 101 before a tournament because I can still outplay the player. Like, if you bank everything on one specific setup, then you're just a bad player, in my opinion. Wonder Woman is probably the, the only character with like the least amount of dirt than every single other character in the game. You know, and yet people still get outplayed by her. So if you can't even handle her, then how are you supposed to manage and handle like, you know, twice as many setups, you know, twice as much dirt, three times as much dirt, actual 50-50s, actual plus frames. Like, people that still know the matchup still get outplayed by Wonder Woman.
How does that read? Yeah, well then those people wouldn't be invited, Darcia. Because the whole point of this is to make it fair, you know? Like if you're just, if you're banking at all on, you know, like hiding tech and everything, then you know what, you do your own thing, you continue doing that. Oh, this person with that awesome connection. This is that Starfire, wasn't it? Starfire, Wonder Woman. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. so stupid. The thing that's so upsetting is that she's not even like a beginner character, she's a literal scrub character. Like there's a difference between beginner and just absolute scrub status. I say I say NRS doesn't know what the hell they're doing and they listen to casuals that don't even understand the fundamentals of fighting games and Paulo has some deluded sense of balancing Back down. I will humble you, Amazon. 
I would also say that they should get rid of their their like initial Q&A on streams like 16-bit Tyler Lansdowne and Derek whatever his face is they shouldn't be in charge of Q&A they clearly don't know what the hell they're doing they can't even manage basic combos that's the most upsetting part They should kick all of them out and replace them with people that actually know what's actually going on in the game. Oh, the way around Supergirl is to let her do whatever she wants, because that's her design, to do whatever she wants. Just remember, block her teleport. And retard.
Was that supposed to be a read on their end that I was gonna jump? When I have an invincible interactable right there, that's unblockable. Okay. They should put, in my opinion, they should put Decay and Amanda for Q&A for their streams. Because they actually know what's actually going on in the game. Hey, Lee Hapula, what's up? Like, they actually know, like, how to play the game. And they actually know what's going on. They have played them before. They clearly know what's going on in the game. They're not clueless like those other three. They're also not cringy as hell. They actually have, like, a personality. Why not? I know I get a free dash after a ground laser. Doesn't really do much, because he already recovers by that time to go for something else. Down 2 just completely misses him. Dark side wins. It literally went right through him. This character is so stupid. Oh, but I forgot, according to casuals, I'm not allowed to complain about that. I'm not about to complain. I'm not allowed to complain, right guys? Listen to this. I'm not allowed to complain when my moves go right through people. But there is a problem when I get hit by phantom hitboxes, and I complain about that, according to these casuals. So when I get hit by moves that aren't actually touching me, and are no longer on the screen, I'm just a whiner. <laughs> but when my moves go right through the opponent, that's an issue.
do a few more and then I don't know what I'm gonna do actually I might go on to overwatch or I might just take a break in general and then like start up an art stream I'm not sure yeah I wanted to stream just because you know like I wanted to stream for the sake of streaming my rank is 45 right now um, and then also to like get out that like little announcement for the the hot seat or like that matchup or leveling up or whatever you want to call it that I'm trying to do Thank you for the following 66 followers. Wonder Woman. Deadshot. Fighters approaching Red Sun Prison. that reaches all the way over there because you know follows vision Also, another disclaimer as to why I talk the way that I talk about the developers and this game. Well, main biggest reason why, like, I love video games. I, I respect most developers and everything like that. But the biggest reason why is that it's just a video game. You're not saving the world. You're not contributing anything significant to society or to the human race. Like, you're really not all that special. That's why I talk the way that I talk. You know? It's like, it's not like you're a firefighter, you're not a nurse, you're not a doctor, you're not a lawyer, you're none of that. And yet you can't get it through your head that this stuff is so lopsidedly balanced. So that's why I talk the way that I talk. That's why I don't hold my tongue towards these people.
I don't know, the way that I see it, it's like every single occupation, every career, every job, for the most part, has a purpose. Begin. Like in everyday life and everything, except for video games. You know, like you really, we can live without video games, we don't actually need it. Like it's pretty pointless. It's a lot of fun, yeah, but it's ultimately pointless. That's why I don't like hold my tongue a lot. I'm just like, okay, it's just a video game. Like, you can live without it if it didn't exist. Did I get a sub notification? I don't know. I don't think I did. Or maybe I did like some time ago. It's just that when, I, when everybody follows, I get an email for that too. So it might just be mixed in with everything. Got like 70 messages from Twitch. <laughs> See his name. That's such a stupid special. I think all her specials just need to get there in general. That arrow didn't even show up. Why did that transition her?
to keep up. Even Trigon couldn't take my heat. Uh, yeah. Starfire is not fun for me at all. She's pretty boring. Pretty basic. Like, she's too basic. Like, you don't need to be a good player to win with her. Wonder Woman wins. You don't need fundamentals to be good with her. You don't need fundamentals to win. I think that that's probably like the stupidest design you could ever give to a character. You don't need to be good, you don't need fundamentals, and yet you can still win. I don't get how they don't see that there's a problem with that design. Hey Retro Tech, what's up? Yes, I am actually. I went to Six Flags yesterday. Had a lot of fun. And I had like a little bit of salt, but today's been going by like really, really well. I'm probably gonna do an art stream in like an hour or so. So, yeah. And I should be taking my test to get my nursing license within like the next couple of weeks. So I'm pretty excited about that. I finally get started. <laughs> like Bob Ross. Yeah, maybe. Wonder Woman wins. That's also one thing too. 